is dry. <laughs> and now, rather than use a curling iron like most people prefer, my preference is hot rollers. Because a curling iron is like a toaster. If you put that toast in the toaster, it's going to burn if you don't take it out quick enough, you know? And hot rollers take but like all of five minutes to do your hair. You know, you just plop it in. It doesn't have to be perfect. Roll it down. Pick up a clip. You know? And while that hot roller is in your hair, it's actually cooling off. Unlike a curling iron, which stays hot the whole time. And the curl is acquired with the hot roller by the cooling off method. Whereas the curling iron has to stay hot in order for the curl to set in. And to me, that damages the hair tremendously. I prefer to see shiny hair. I prefer to see, you know, nice ends or <laughs> not all fried. And so yeah, I use hot rollers. They pack in a suitcase real good. I also, you know, use hot rollers because time-wise, it's a better option. With curling irons, you have to sit there and hold the curling iron while you wait for the curl, right? As you notice, I'm just picking up hair randomly and wrapping it around the hot roller and then putting in the clip. Now, okay, it's been in my hair three minutes, right? Now, here's the reason to convince you to switch from curling irons to hot rollers. Okay, so yeah, hot roller coming out already. It's still kind of warm because it hasn't cooled off completely. If you leave them in until they're completely cold, then you'll have a much stronger curl. Today I'm just going for the loose curl, the you know playful curl, the directional, just make it look nicer than it did. And because I have super curly hair naturally, so I dry it and straighten it a little bit, and then I add the the hot rollers. And then, yeah, just brush it through. And then, voila! Done. And I think anybody who's still using curling irons is just defeating the purpose. You know, curling irons are good for, like, the little banana drop curls. You know, curly, the little skinny, teeny, tiny curls. But... Outside of that, I think softer curl looks better, if that's the look you're going for. Also, again, I will state, I don't really use a whole bunch of hair products in my hair other than shampoo and conditioner. I do use a little bit of lotion in my hair. After it's all done, see, because you know, you got to put some on your hands anyway, put it on your face, and then yeah, <laughs> I go through my hair. I'm going to do this hopefully without my towel dropping. <laughs> See, there it goes. Almost dropped the towel because, you know, it's YouTube. Can't be showing anything you don't want to show. Or, not that I don't want to show it, but just can't be showing it because it's YouTube. So there you have it. Okay. Hands. Little dab of lotion. Your hands feel good. Your face feels good. And if you could feel it, you could see it, but the reason I use lotion is because it's non-greasy, and if it's good for the body, it's good for the hair. Um, your hair absorbs lotion a lot better after it's dry. It's not greasy, and again, I prefer to have a man be able to run his fingers through my hair, and I like to run my fingers through my hair. I, I do. I love hair. That's why I'm a hairdresser, so hopefully... You go out and go get yourself some hot rollers, ladies, uh, and use a little lotion afterwards. I guarantee you'll love the way your hair feels afterwards. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching.